Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Christelle Martinet and the reading for the month of June are going to be um, done with the tarot, the fire tarot. And I wanted to give you a brief um, explanation of that and more so because after I got all of my, as you can see, all of my toys here ready, okay, I, um, I have an, a catalytic lamp up there which helps with clearing the air and purifying the air before I start to um, start my readings. And I stupidly touched the end and now I have these two fingers burnt. <laughs> well anyway, let me tell you, the fire tarot uses fire as, um, as a myth in all of its forms and interprets uh, tarot related scenes in um, through the tarot related scenes the major arcana each have uh, the de they depict a god linked with fire and the minor uh, arcana are linked with fire as either help uh, spiritual and sacred fire uh, emotional fire and earthly fire and according to the creators of uh, the tarot of fire uh, the artist is Franco Rivoli, uh, and it was um, thought to, to have fire among the primary elements um, that put humanity on the path to civilization. This is, what the, this is what motivated the creators. This tarot deck focuses on worldwide myths of fire, <clears throat> gods, goddesses, and I'll show you some of these major arcana. Um, elemental beings, um, animals, and even abstract concepts of fire. It's a fascinating tarot deck. It's, it's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> and uh, brilliantly, it's very brilliant, brilliantly conceived. Um, the artist, as you can see, many of the pictures, many, many of the art, much of the artwork is in, with a black dark background so the element of fire can be more pronounced. This is the, the Wheel of Fortune for example but not all of them are that way. For example, these, this is the Lover's card. It's a very bright card. Um, the, ma the major arcana, as we were saying, concentrates on some of the most potent myths of, of fire in the cultures of the different uh, areas of the world and there are powerful and and quite familiar mythical figures such as Prometheus we have um, Prometheus as the hanged man then we have Okriza the Vestal version as the high priestess and there's also Osiride, the Egyptian underworld god serving as justice. Hermes is none other than the magician. And more symbolically, on a more symbolic level, um, there's the, for the tower, the tower we have, the, the Vesuvius that destroys the city of Pompeii. And there we have also fire raining down from the skies here. Fire raining down from the skies that burns Sodom and Gomorrah in the judgment card. And many of these cards are, um, are also, they also depict forbidding, you know, characters that we don't talk about. For example, the Empress the empress here is the Maori goddess Makuika, and uh, who does radiate strength, as you can see, and primal energy. Uh, there's also the devil here, Malach, is the horned monster of legend. Then there's this hermit, which is the dreamtime figure Karakarok, uh, who is a very commanding hermit. Now, these are, uh, since they deal with the elements and the element of fire, here you have uh, the lightness and darkness rolled up into one, reminding us that there is lightness, there is darkness, and light doesn't exist without darkness. And we all tread, since we're human, across both worlds. Now, on to our June 
2017 readings, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Virgo. I'm sorry, Libra. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello, Libra. And um, this is uh, Christelle, of course, who's making these uh, stupid mistakes. And I'm here with a reading for you for June 2017. Let's see what is up in store for you, Libra, for the month of June 2017. Libra 2017. Libra 2017. Libra 2017. 2017. Diamond spread. One, two, three, two, one cards. These are lovely cards. These are. Well, some things, um, there are some important cards here, Libra, that um, talk to me about um, uh, coming, something coming to a head. Uh, there has been some kind of preparation for either an event, an important decision, um, uh, you know, the purchase of something important. Something is at stake, something at stake. And, um, and you were you know, leaning one way and the other and not knowing where to let the chips fall. Well, you're coming to the end of that period. And I'm seeing that, and I'll show you these cards before I go on, and I'm seeing that um, you're going to, in the month of June, finally reach a plateau, reach a place where you feel good about the decisions you've made or the decision you have just made, and uh, where you can take stock you know, you can take stock. You can face all of the people who are, have been interacting with you on that project or about your antagonists even. And you can face them with a, 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 a light heart, you know. Um, now, there's some beautiful energy here, right in the middle of the month of June. Beautiful energy. And then, of course, there's, uh, you know, some doubts uh, coming in. And then you are again placed at a crossroads to make another decision. Let me show you these, these cards. The Three of, I hope you can see that, the Three of Wands. The Ace of Swords on the left and to the right. There is the Two of Wands, and then across the center, we have this beautiful sun. Right in the middle of the spread is the Wheel of Fortune, and over to the far right is the Queen of Cups. Then to the left, the Moon card, the Five of Wands, and then this judgment card is the very very last so um, you know you are you think you've been through the mill until now there's still in the end towards the end of the month another another point where you have to make a decision make a choice that's fundamental and I'm going to take the Vida Sibila cards to see um, what that choice is all about first I'm going to highlight this five of wands that gives me some cause for concern here Well, um, now, I didn't expect this. <laughs> All right, I have the domestico, the house domestic, the nemico, the male enemy, could be a female enemy, and the uh, gran signore could be a gran dame. So um, what I'm seeing, because this is a diagonal from the Queen of Cups, uh, the Five of Wands, and the Judgment card, here there are definitely two parties uh, either in your life or you are one of those two parties because these two are antagonistic they are one against the other so say you are a uh, male and have a female or companion or another companion there is a third party involved and 
this leads me to believe that they may be living together or about to go live together, but something's not right um, in the sense that it has been hidden, it's going to come out, and what happens is the judgment card. Um, it, it is, when, you, when this comes out, there is definitely another decision to be made. Now, let me take a look at the Moon card that's right across from that Five of Wands. And I've got Amore Love, Imeneo, which is the nuptial dance, and then Mercante, uh, which is looking the other way. So, you know, it's on the same level. I would be prone to think, because this is on a diagonal between the sun, the moon, and the judgment. Heavy, heavy duty um, cards here. There's, you know, it seems to me that there may be a lot of you out there who have partnered up with a business, a person you are in business with. And that's what makes it so sticky. Because um, you're, you're mixing, literally, business with pleasure. And, um, but there is that judgment card. In the end, you're going to have to make a decision. The, the, uh, the situation here is bringing you to make a decision that you're not going to be happy with. Um, to save the business, actually. Why you? Well, <laughs> the the decision really is between business and pleasure. What do you want to salvage, the relationship or your business? Now, I uh, there may be, of course, a lot of you out there who do not have a partner who you're doing business with, of course. But there is another element there that you have. There is definitely a choice to be made towards month's end. Um, I'm going to take three other cards here on this Queen of Cups. Okay, now, this Queen of Cups, I've got a number of, of um, hidden things here, emotionally. This is the Sacerdote, the priest, Militare, the military, the serviceman, and um, the Giovanni Fanciulla, which is the uh, virgin of the deck here. Something new. Emotionally, this is announcing uh, something that has emerged among in your relationship that was hidden, both under the cloak of this priest and mil the military, the servicemen. They really keep things under their belt. Now, let me take the um, cast the runes to see if I can get any clarity here. More clarity. Yeah, the runes are really, you know, they're very clear, the runes. When I cast them at the very end, they give you a, um, a, um, a clear sense of what you're being put through, the, the judgment card. Um, when I have this rune uh, in this position, there is no net. I, you have to be, you're going to be faced with, the, shore yourself up, get prepared for a very serious um, decision that will really condition the future of your life, because that is going to be coming up. And it has to do with knowing exactly what you want, Isa, and making it possible for you to move forward, because in currently, in, this, in the situation that you are currently in, that won't be possible. There, something has to go. And um, what stands to gain, um, well, what is at stake is the way that development, future developments will turn. Because um, if you make one decision, you know, you, you come to the point where, the crossroads, I'll be damned if I do, I'll be damned if I don't. This is the life situation that we all go through, you know. I don't want to see him. I don't want to see her. The suffering will be immense, incredible. But some, the decision has to be made. You cannot sit on the fence because every, everyone suffers too much. You won't be able to have another relationship. You won't be able to turn that leaf on life. And um, a tear, Merck's Davis, is attesting to that. But what I do here and what I um, see here with Gifo 
uh, right over this decision and right over these two different people here that I showed you um, is that um, you will have much to gain from clarifying the situation because of that third party having come into the situation and that's where the decision making lies for the month of June and I hope that you can stand to the challenge Libra I and I hope that this was of help to you namaste ladies and gentlemen bye bye until we read together again